In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more on how to set up your integration. So you just purchased an integration with us. Uh, you're going to want to go to the pending integrations tab here on the left. As you can see here, I have five pending integrations. So I'm now going to set up my integration here and go through the five step process. For this specific integration, um, the first step is already completed. I completed my order and now I need to confirm my supplier account. So I do have an approved reseller with the supplier Motang. Um, please indicate if you uh, do not have a reseller account with your supplier or if you have an application waiting and pending with the supplier. Uh, one thing for using inventory source for uh, an integration with the supplier to your sales platform, you will be required to have an approved reseller account with that supplier. So yes, I do here. Going down, um, if you have uh, supplier account information, so specifically if you have access to certain products or certain pricing, you'll need to indicate that below. Some of the integrations are over an FTP. Um, there'll be different uh, information and fields here that you'll need to fill out. Sometimes they're optional. For some suppliers, they are required. So I'm going to go to the next step. Now for this step, I'm going to connect to the sales channel. So this uh, third step is going to be a little bit different in regards to uh, whichever sales channel you have purchased for the integration. So I purchased the one specifically for Shopify. It's registered that it's uh, seen the Shopify under my email address. So we're going to click on this. This is the Shopify store I want to connect to. Now the next part is you're going to want to confirm your integration type. So do you have uh, suppliers products on your store already? Do you have some suppliers products on your store already? You need to sync, just sync up over uh, our price quantity status. Or do you already have suppliers products, but you still want to load new products on? So I currently don't have any of the suppliers products on my store. So I'm going to indicate that here. I'm going to click next. And then from here, it's going to show that it's going to take up to 24 hours, uh, business hours specifically to get everything set up. Our onboarding team is going to have to go into the back end of our system and set a couple things up manually. Um, while this is in a pending state, you will want to go to step four and configure your tools. So you will now have access to our catalog manager. Um, with our catalog manager, you'll want to decide uh, which mode you would like to be in. Uh, by default, you'll be in the catalog manager builder mode where you will be able to curate your catalog or you can be in the filter mode where you can filter out certain products that you don't want to sell specifically for that supplier um, another thing that you'll want to set up is your catalog pricing rules specifically for how you would like to price your products as well as mapping out the category structure. So within the catalog uh, manager, uh, we bring in the category structure from your supplier. You'll wanna go in there and customize that. Uh, make sure it fits your business model and what you would like it to look like in your channel. We have help video guides here. Specifically, you can click in this to get a help on that. Um, you can also go to the help and support center or contact us to be able to help out with our tools and how to manage our interface. So I'm going to go down here. I am actually going to configure my tools a little bit. Let's just go add a couple products um, into the feed because from there uh, we'll be able to indicate uh, that uh, we have um, completed uh, steps one through four. To your catalog, um, going through advanced searching, finding the products that you want to sell, and definitely going into the catalog rules. Um, so we can just come in, just add some to the catalog. From here, whenever we are finished, um, you will be able to actually set your feed status to active. That is the fifth step. Um, once step three is configured, you can do that here, or you can go back to pending integrations, go into the integration itself, come down here, indicate that you have completed steps one through four. Um, like I said, once this uh, third step is out of the pending stage, uh, activate feed will be able to be um, uh, initiated here. You'll be able to activate that feed. And then from there, we will do the first upload of products or syncing of products. And then you will be able to have the integration live and ready. If you have any questions about our onboarding process, um, please feel free to reach out to us. You can actually contact us here in the contact onboarding team, or you can go up to the help tab and contact us here. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We are happy to help you out.